Hey everybody and welcome to part 11 of Pokemon Emerald version. I'm Solar Warlocks. So we're now here on Route 1, uh, 113. So the Pokemon we want could be found here. No, not Spinda. This Pokemon is actually really bad. Let's look for it. Another Spinda. Yay. I keep looking for it. Let's run on all this ash. There it is. There's a Slugma. I don't know if I have an attack weak enough. Rock Smash? Ooh, it almost got it. So let's throw a Pokeball at it. Pokeball! Darn it. There we go, we got Slugma. Beautiful, a beautiful. And we'll name it after another loyal subscriber. I forget what his uh, YouTube name is now, but I'm gonna name it after what he was really named. Okay, right, so now with the Slugma being our next teammate, uh, we're going to give it the EXP share, wherever that is. Oh, we have our candy. Um, we'll actually use that rare candy right now. We use the Repel up. We use the rare candy to then boost him to level 16. No new moves, sadly. Uh, do we have an awakening or anything like that? I don't think we do. I'll just toss this. I'll also toss this. And then we'll go to our berries and use the Chesto Berry on Tails. There we go. It's fun walking through the volcanoes, volcan volcanoes ashes on the ground and grass. You can see where he walked, it's really neat. Can you guess why it's so cool around here? Because of volcanic ash? That's not that interesting, kid. We all know that, man. We got Jalen and his trap pitch. That's a new boat one. Can't actually catch one of these for a while yet. At least not until we beat the fifth gym. I believe. Fifth gym? Yeah. No, fourth. Fourth. Fifth is our dad. And there we go. That trap inch is down. Phew, that stinks. Ah, we got a pile of ash. Don't mind if I do. Alright, we got some trainers here. Were you maybe in the middle of gathering volcanic ashes? Thanks for finding me, but we still have to battle. Yeah, we're gonna be conned into a third battle after this. So we got a new type of trainer. We got the Ninja Boys. So we have Lawrence and Lung with Baltoy and Coffin. Okay, really not a good matchup for Tails. So just fake out the Coffin and we'll water in the uh, Baltoy. That should do some decent damage. Ooh, it actually did. Should actually finish the Baltoy as well. Oh my god, they both lived. Now, yeah, Inside Beam is gonna hit the wrong Pokemon. Okay. Okay, we'll just go for the uh, arm thrust on ball toy and the water gun on coffee. Because I know. Uh, wow, you actually outspeed Tectonic? I did not know that. Coughing does not have great special defense, but it has really good defense. I did so little, man. We got Sancho. Interesting. And there we go. That's gone as well. What's your next Pokemon? Another one? Ooh, no, Ninjask, the bug Pokemon. Huh. Not really much I can do to it. Let's just have to water gun it. That's oh, going for Harden. It does have the ability Speed Boost, so it does get faster and faster every turn that we don't do anything to it. That's uh, a 2 a KO. Scratch doesn't do much. And hurry up. That's Hanshu's down. Oh god, he's barely getting any experience. And see, there's the speed boost. So now we'll go for Rock Smash, I guess, and just another Water Gun. Just going for Hardens anyway. No big deal. Ninjask is the evolution of Ninkata, by the way. One of two. It actually splits into two Pokemon. And level 17. Yeah, we got beaten cleanly. I'll use my ninjutsu on you. Volcanic Ash Swirl Cloak. What? It's already over. 
Yeah, you're a little late there, kid. Excuse me. And then there's the third guy. You you want to battle with me, even though I just caught my Pokemon? You're the one who actually challenged me. I didn't actually challenge you there, Pokemaniac Wyatt. And your Aeron. Oh, this is easy. Aeron, really? Eat my arm thrust. Crock. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. Look at that damage. One hit KO. Good thing it doesn't actually have real sturdy. Then again, we would still beat it. And we just got another Aeron. I wonder if we'll see Aeron's evolution anytime soon. Like, I know, it'll, I know it evolves in, like, in the 30s, and then it again evolves at, like, 45 or 47, something like that, into its final form. But, kind of interesting to see, you know? 184. You're, you're happy to win, even though it's only me? You gave me a lot of money, so yeah, I am happy. None of you guys are rematchable trainers, sadly. But we found a super repel. That'll be good to use when we need to go through an upcoming area. Which we won't be doing in this episode. The uh, next episode will be that area. This episode might contain the next route. Okay, let's see what we got coming on. Nothing up there. We got this person. I use this parasol to ward off this filthy, yucky, volcanic ash from my dear Nummel. Really? From Nummel? And we got Madeline. Nummel. And we're just gonna go for a fake out. Deal some damage right there. Ooh, that did a lot. Now we'll just finish off with a rocks match. I think like we rarely ever use, to be honest with you. That's a terrible experience. Huff, huff, I'm exhausted. Here, slide it on my parasol. Let me register you in my Pokenab. So we got another person, Yuri. Both of us, we collect ashes, we battle Pokemon too. Oh, good for you, twins. Lots of double battles. So we have Tori and Tia with Spinda and Spinda. These are just normal type Pokemon that have the hidden ability contrary in later games, which allows them to boost stats instead of dropping stats. And they're just, in this game, they're just terrible Pokemon. Like they, They're even terrible Pokemon with contrary, they're just not good. They just have bad stats, bad typing, and don't really learn a lot of good moves. So overall, not the best. Wow, they're not even going to give a lot of experience. They are bad in experience as well. Ah, oh, and they lived. And just got off tackle. Wow, so exciting. There we went. Ah, oh, Lupenstein. Hey, level 18 Malachi, not bad. We couldn't win. It's boring, so I'm going to get more ashes. So what nature is our little buddy Slugma? Careful. Hmm. Not really the best nature, but it'll work. And you know what, I'm just going to use that repel now. You know, that way we can get through this area without any hassle. Max Ether, that's a really good item for late game. Wow, today's technology is a wondrous thing. Take this volcanic ash here, it can be fashioned into glass. It's fun to blow a glass flute while my boss is talking. Huff, huff, puff, puff. This area is covered in volcanic ash. Huff, puff. I'm specially gifted. Huff, puff. I made glass out of volcanic ash and make atoms huff, puff. Go collect the ashes with this huff, puff. And we found the suit sack, so if we want any of the fluid items, we can use them. Just take that suit sack and walk through piles of ash, huff, puff. It'll fill up with volcanic ash, huff, puff. Once you get, uh, once you think you've collected a good amount, come see me, huff, puff. There's nothing we can do if we're bored and just want to grind. This guy here, though, um, pretty sure Nelson will be the better one for this. From out of the ashes I leap. Hi, I challenge thee. Okay, we got another ninja boy. This is the bug bug one. Either way, it's easier. No, Lao has coughings. Wing attack. Come 
God, we got poisoned. With honor, I admit defeat. Well, we're almost at a Pokemon Center, and I don't think we really need it. Yai, witness the ancient ninja technique of Pokenav registration. Okay. Anyways, let's switch back into Tails. Man, that guy's leveling up so slowly, sadly, though. TM32 Double Team. Eh, not really something I want to use, though, sadly. The volcanic's eruption is proof that the Earth is alive. Well, it's not necessarily alive, it's just flowing. Well, actually, I guess it does mean it's alive, because look, like, where does it all go? Dylan with Aeron. Why does everything have Aerons here? This isn't even a place you catch Aerons. Anyways, let's go for Arm Thrust. It barely lived, but now it's gone. Man, can we do more? Can we get a little faster, please? Apparently, it doesn't want to. You're some kind of strong. Pretty sure he rematches you as well. Might not, never mind. We got an item here. We found a hyper potion. Ow. Thought I had something crawling on me, but it was just a weird cut on my neck. I don't know where it came from. Oh, double battle. So when you got a time just right, though. The warmth here is making me drowsy. Battle with me so I can stay awake. Pfft. These wings, I can flick you away. You're gonna flick me with wings? You know how weird that sounds? I'm gonna flick you with wings, biatch. Oh well. So we have Kobe and uh, Sophie. Marilyn, Skarmory. Skarmory is another Pokemon we can find here. It's a rare Pokemon. It's still flying, but not really the best for an LP. So we're gonna go fake out Mudshot, I guess. You know, just to finish it off. Let's get rid of the Meryl. Goodbye, Meryl Streep. Oh god, it's so bad. Yeah, we're level 19. Still no new move. And we got Lombre, okay. Pack now. Um Battle throw you. I know. Can't really. Battle throw you, water gun you. Blum, blum. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, and I went for sand attack too. That's that's terrible. I'm gonna be blind. Nature power. Earthquake. Oh man, that's mean. Luckily, it doesn't affect Skarmory. And doesn't affect Skarmory. Yeah, we get that, man. At least Vital Throw does so much damage, it's crazy. And now we'll just, uh, just beat you up, I guess. No, we missed! Man, we kept missing. Like, come on, did you have to miss that many times overall? I think they have a speed tie, too. Hey, we're level 28. And what's your last Pokemon? Oh god, you have a Swallow. This guy's got, like, the powerful Pokemon right here. And no defense drops, sadly, so we'll Arm Thrust. Water Gun it again. And that is a Toast Swallow. Should have went for, like, Wing Attack or Peck, dude, but no, you decided to go for Focus Energy. This is a dream, I'm sure of it. A what? I think it's just like a what? Anyways, made it to Fall Arbor Town. Probably one of my more favorite zones in the game. Now let's explore. What does this guy want to talk about? In the fields of Fall Arbor, we plant seedlings of hardy trees that thrive even in volcanic ash. That's cool. I wonder what Pokemon looked like long, long ago. Maybe the Fossil Maniac at the edge of town will know. Oh, hello, you are? Okay, your name's Solar. I can see that you're a trainer, so that means you use the Pokemon Star system I developed. How I arrived at that conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great you're using the storage system. If you could, please visit me at my home. Uh, at home, my house is on Route 114. I live alone because I'm a creepy old widow. Actually, I don't know. Ah, what does this old man want? Something, something's happening, and I don't like it. I've seen shady characters wandering in and out of Professor Cosmo's home. 
Have you already challenged Flannery, the leader of Lava Ridge City? The girl's grandfather was famous. He was one of the Elite Four in the Pokemon League at one point. It wouldn't surprise me to see Flannery become a great trainer in her own right. See, take a look. This is my precious Azurel. It's slick and smooth and plushy too. Okay. Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls in Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Team Magma, no! A nugget in a meteor, or a, a crater, a meteor crater. Move Tutor's house. We don't need that right now. But anyways, this will end the episode, and in the next episode, we'll be going to Route 114 to do some more exploration. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.